Good morning, guys. Another episode of Math with Mr. B coming at you live. Well, it's not live because I'm taping myself. Anyhow, here we go. Today I want to talk to you about um, surface area. Um, prior knowledge. Look, we have, you all should know how to find the perimeter and area of something. Or if it's a circle, it could be called circumference. Okay? We've gone over, over those vocabulary words. Let's look at this board right here. Don't pay attention to what's written on it. Just look at this board. It's a rectangle, okay? This is, let's just say for a second thing, it's four feet, and this is five feet, right? It's a rectangle. I know, and you should too, that the, how to find the area of a rectangle is length, which is five, times width, which is four. So the area of this board would be 20 feet. 20 square feet. Area is always square. If we would do perimeter, it would be 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4. It would be 18 square feet. Perimeter would be like this gray line all the way around it, like you're building a fence around it. But now we're talking about surface area. And, and the reason we're going to do this is because all the other shapes we've been looking at, you have to picture them as just flat, like this board. But now we're getting into shapes that aren't flat. Take this tissue box. This is a rectangular prism. Okay? If you look at it, it's a, if one side of it here is a rectangle. Okay? But it's, it's deep and it's tall. And it's got, you know, it's a prism. Alright? It's not just flat. It's got, it's, you know, it's able to hold things. Alright? So, what if we wanted to paint this box? You know? How would we? How would we know how much paint to use on this box? How much to buy? That's where we use the formula for surface area. And let's think. Let's say this box was a well, the same a barn or something, and you had to go to Lowe's to buy enough paint. You you wouldn't want to buy too much. You know, you might not be able to take it back if you're mixing it something. So, anyhow, there's formulas. There's puzzles and there's pieces. Same way we did the others. Just make sure you know what shape you're dealing with. This is a rectangular prism. Here is our formula to find the surface area for a rectangular prism. It's 2 times the length times the width. All right, This could be the length and this is the width. Then 2 times the length times the height. And then 2 times the width times the height. Okay? Let's do an example. You got one on your note sheet. All right. Here it is. I've got it drawn out. A rectangular prism. This one here is just standing this way. Okay? Could be this way. Um, this way. Doesn't matter. Alright? As long as you make sure you label it correctly and then use the proper label at the proper place. Here's our puzzle. Here's our pieces. I've labeled this height because usually height deals with something vertical. Length deals with something horizontal. And the width is the only one that's left. Okay? Plug in your pieces. Here we go. Let's do this thing. Two times my length is 15. And my width is 8. Plus 2 times my length is 15. And my height is 34. Plus 2 times 8, and my height is 34. Puzzle, pieces, I put them in. It's all calculator work now. Or, long, you know, if you don't have one, anybody should be able to multiply this out. 2 times 15 is 30, 8 times 30 is 240. Plus. 30 times 34 is uh, 1,020. Thought I did that in my head? Nah, I got it done. Thank you. Anyhow, next one. 2 times 8 16 times 34. Da -da -da -da, 544. Alright. Add them all up. Let's see what we get here. Surface area of this rectangular prism comes out to 1804. What do we have? Millimeters squared. Remember, 
area is always squared. Always squared. Perimeter is not. Perimeter is just a measurement around, like you're building a fence. Area is always squared. And then we're going to learn about volume here really soon. And that's always cubed. So remember, make sure you know what objects you're dealing with. We're going to have cylinders coming up. And matter of fact, I might do an, an, um, an example of a cylinder right now to make sure you all know what you're doing with. But this is how you find the area of a rectangular prism. I'm going to do cylinders on the next video. Kabish? Kabish. All right, peace.